Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Heavy Shot, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Well, welcome to another exciting episode of Larry Smith Outdoors. This morning, we're up here on the Menominee River. We're gonna do a little bit of sturgeon fishing with our good friend, Brian Claremont. Going there. Hey, Brian, well, you know, tell everybody at home what we actually got going on here. You know, the sturgeon season used to be almost two months. They really cut the time frame down on it, didn't they? Yeah, it only runs um, beginning of September to the end of September, and it's all catch and release down here. But we got some really big sturgeon here. Uh, I've been having a blast. I hope we get. I got one I can call him thumb burner. Thumb burner? Why do you call him that? Because he burned my thumb. Oh, on the drag? <laughs> yes, sir. Holy cats! You know that is the cool part about this uh, part of the river here is that you know you have a chance at a monster fish. You know these fish actually come out of the bay here, um, and like you said, you can't keep any in this section, which is fine with us. We'd rather just let them go too. Yes, so, but we're gonna basically just anchor up. I got the spot lock on, and we're gonna be fishing in some of these holes, huh? Yep, yep, yep. And hopefully we get some bites here. We've been doing pretty good, so I don't see why we shouldn't catch them today. That sounds good. Hey, we got our special guest with us, Phil the Dominic. Hey, buddy, hey, how you doing today? More probably you know us, Phil the Blind Guy. Phil the Blind Guy. Well, we got Phil the Dominic, the Blind Guy, with us today. You know, Phil, last time you got a real big sturgeon yep. when we were fishing up here. 62 inches, I think. Was. Let's see if we can beat that today. Stay tuned and let's see what happens next here on Larry Smith Outdoors. fiberglass rods myself a little bit better for this. Uh, same rods I use for flatheads when I'm fishing flatheads. I've got uh, 60 pound test mono on this one using a pancake uh, sinker. Doesn't slide as easy and of course a circle hook. And we're going to be using cut sucker today and night crawlers. See which one they want the most. Remember it's Claremont's side of the boat and my side of the boat. stuck in marinettes. Trust Dalco, the manufacturer that most well-respected boat brands trust for their covers and tops. Dalco is the leading manufacturer of custom-fit boat covers, pontoon covers, bimini tops, furniture, seating, accessories, and hardware. Are you looking for a cover to replace an old and worn out cover on your older model used boat? Visit DalcoMarine.com today to find a cover that fits your boat. Use promo code Larry10 and get an additional 10% off. You know, ice fishing is a great family activity. It gets everyone outside, it's yeah. a lot of fun. Got yeah, a Vexilar I can use? I sure do, here you go bud. Thanks. You know, even kids enjoy a Vexilar. It's easy to use, it's like a fishing game. Hey, it's Dad, a Ruby got one, can I have one too? Sure Rose, you can. Thanks. No problem. There's no doubt, Vexilar's been helping generations of ice anglers catch hey, more bud, fish. I'm ready to 
fish too. Can I use your Vexlar? You sure can. To catch more fish, learn more at Vexlar.com. Hey, uh, for sturgeon fishing here this year, I, I got hooked up with this at the beginning of spring here, this lure lipstick. It's got a, a fish pheromone in it. So what I've been doing, uh, we're using live bait now, so you, you know, when you got live bait, I don't. But hey, you know what? You put it on the sinker, gives it a little bit of scent, and I think them sturgeon Let pick up that them. scent trail and get some to that crawler. So we got some on that one. Let's see what happens. It smells good to me already. It does smell good. That did not you take well. Yep. This one? yep, Phil, come on back here. Get those here. rods out of the way. Yep, I will. Come on back, Phil. Ooh, this is a good That's one. a good fish. That did not take very long at all. Back, Phil. We had just got in here. We've been hurry, here for hurry, about hurry, 10 minutes. Like, the the rod. Rod. <laughs> about 10 oh. minutes. You okay. Until the rod's oh. out of way. Here, just yep. keep that rod up. Keep it tight. Start reeling. Reel, Ryan, reel. I'm just going to lay the rods reel, on reel. the bimini. Yep. Up, just lay the other rods up on that bimini to get some out of the way. I'm going to grab the net. Okay. Wow. This is exciting. You know what? We just got in here. It didn't take as long as last no, year. No, it didn't. You're good. This is a smallmouth. Uh-oh. You got oh, it going underneath the motor. Oh, we're going to have to grab it. Here, I'll grab that rod and go you off. You guys tell me what you're doing. Yeah, you know, here, I'm going to hand it to you there. Here, grab it around oh, No, he's good. He's not in the motor. No, no, he's going to end up here. Grab no, it. He's, out, he's out to that side. Tag team. <clears throat> he's going to end up in the motor. OK, come on up. Come on up. Here, I'll just hand it around. Oh, I didn't know this is a team. I didn't know sturgeon fishing is a team sport. <laughs> I'm not tightening that drag and losing them. Yeah. Hand off. Get on her. Get on her. Here we go, Crank on her. Watch out for these lines. Honest, folks, it's a team effort because I really can't see. <laughs> so many people think, does he really blind it? I, I am really yeah, blind. Other than a little bit of blurry oh, gray. There you go, Phil. Oh, now you're getting seen fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. See the fish? Holy cats. Look at the tail on that thing. No, I can't see the fish. <laughs> I think it's a shark. Whoa, I need to see him in braille. That's a good one. That's a good look. There he is. Look at the size of that tail. There he is. There he is. Look, look, at, look at the, the size. size of that thing. Holy oh, <laughs> I'm going to try to grab It's not ready yet. It's not? Maybe. Well, maybe. He's going to take off. He's going yeah, to get a hold of his I'm tail. Ready. Yep. Oh, you got him. I got him. Let's try to get this in now. Okay, watch yourself on the line. Let up on it a little bit. Let up? Let well, up. Okay. I got this. Get him up a little bit and I'll grab his, his front part. <laughs> get out of the water, Omar. Come here, oh, come here, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> no, come on, you know what? I'm gonna hold, let me have the tail, you grab the front. Right, sure? I, lo yeah, I lost a lot of strength. Okay, I'll get the front. Oh no, I lost the front. There he goes. Oh, you fart. Watch, watch, on you. watch out for the camera. It almost took the camera guy out of the boat. That thing is heavy. Oh, that's a big fish. It's probably a hundred. We went up 50 calibers. Oh. Look at the size of that thing. Holy oh, moly. Yeah. You'll be. I want to see him. Okay, let me get in there, Hunter. Right, here. Get over to that side or somewhere. Let me get in here. Yeah. If I can grab his tail. Oh, okay. Oh. I got him. I had him. <laughs> there he's got him. Oh, God. Oh, if you ever come out here, you got it. I'm going to wait for this guy with. Just like gators. There you go. Woo. There. Wow. That is a big fish. Let's get her on hook. <sighs> wow. Oh, that there. is a big fish. You for me. I'm reeling him in. Oh, land job. Hey, I'll tell you what, Phil. Look at you. You're just shaking. <laughs> That was absolutely an awesome battle. Nice job. Well, let's get her back in the water. We got a measurement on her, and uh, I measured. I got her laid out on the boat. A, get a picture. I got, picture. I'm, I'm taking pictures right okay. now. I want one I on my phone, too. I tea, I promise. I want one on my phone. Yep. So they're sliding right now. Got her? Yep. Okay, she's all yours. Put her back in. She'll take right off. They're tough. The guillotine, the most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen. Programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, 
made by Rutfin. Big news, introducing Jiffy's new E6 Lightning with clean power. Easy starting with a squeeze of the throttle. Powered by a six amp hour lithium battery, along with a high torque motor that delivers superior drilling performance. Reverse drilling makes skimming holes a thing of the past. Jiffy's river blade has longer life. Night lights offer safe drilling even in the dark. The new Jiffy E6 Lightning has everything covered. Welcome back to Larry Smith Outdoors. Day number two, you know, yesterday it was 90 degrees. We caught one sturgeon, lost a couple other, but the one we got was absolutely giant. So we're back out here this morning. Major change, Brian, in temperature. Wow, I mean, it is right now about 46, 47 degrees out, um, you know, but I was noticing on uh, the graph that coming up here this morning that the water temperature really did not drop that much. So it still should be a pretty good day, and maybe that's what these fish really needed was a little bit of cool temperatures. I actually think that's what we've been lacking is, is it's been such a warm fall. I think this cool out's gonna do it. I think we're gonna get some fish. The fall, in the fall, the fish want that cold temperatures because that's what motivates them to start feeding up for winter. So, but today, you know, like I said, the temperature really didn't change a lot. I still think we're gonna do pretty decent this morning. Couple sturgeon, and then we're gonna go maybe try for some smallmouth, huh? Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, let's, let's give, see. Her, give her our best chance. You ain't kidding about that, that's Mr. Right. Claremont. Hey, stay tuned, let's see what happens this morning here back up on the Monopoly. Omni River trying to catch that elusive giant sturgeon. Phil! Look at this. <laughs> Look at this right Wow, I just, I didn't even get the rod in the rod holder. Here's Phil, come on, take him. Come on, buddy. Here, I didn't even get the rod in the rod holder. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of the cigar, get rid of the cigar. Oh. Yes. Where are you at? Oh, God. Oh. Love to start the morning off like that. Take your time, Phil. I can't believe it. I didn't even get the rod in the rod holder. I just set it down there. I just was going to put it. Look at that rod go. And I was just going to put it in the rod holder. And all of a sudden, that sturgeon just, whoop, he throttled it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on, Whoa, look at the size of that. <laughs> that is a big fish. Look at that. It's like a miniature shark. Oh, don't wind anymore. You're right to the three-way. Don't, 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 don't crank again. You'll bust them off. Okay. You guys Not as big as the one yesterday no, morning, but still a giant. Oh, no. And the hook came off. Awesome. Pop. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's, you know, and again, you guys, you, you want to treat these fish with respect for sure. Yeah, yeah. So that's, still that's why we like the lasso, get around the tail. You know, and you want to bring the fish in to, to get a picture. They're very, they're, 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 they're pretty tough to fish, but again, you don't want to abuse them. So you get your, you get your picture, you get them back in. Hey, have a step. Are you okay, Uncle Phil? Uh, here, hang on, let's start, compre let's start compressions out of them now. All right. Oh, man. What a way to start the morning. That's eh? a great way to start the morning, Brian. You know, and again, this sturgeon fishing is a very, unique thing. I myself personally yeah. like this part of the river because you can't keep the fish so you got a chance of catching a monster. Yes. You know? Yes, yes. We got a lot of time yet. Ah. You want to get a monster. All right, let's get him off, ah. Phil. Phil, ah. anything ah. you want to say? Ah. <laughs> we better get this fish I'm back in a, before he does have a heart attack. Phil gets a lap dance. Phil gets a lap From dance. A surgeon. Okay, you got it, Brian? Okay. The lap dance. Real Good careful. Bye, get shot of letting him go. Right over the side, nice and smooth. Yeah. Phil gets a lap dance. Nice. Oh, there he is, he's jumping already. Finer down, he jumps good. There we go, we got another fish on. You know, Brian, you said using a live sucker would be the thing, and I didn't really have confidence in it. Boy, that fish picked that live sucker up 
take just like crazy. And I said, I want to get one on this rod. This is my flathead rod. So this is your guy, Larry. All right, that's true. Here we go, game on. Oh, I love that feel of that. <laughs> It's probably a big rock bass. That's probably what Larry's got a big rock bass. Yeah, this is my flathead rod. I got 100 pound test power. Pull. Oh, and he came off. No way. Still there. He was running. Oh, he came off. Oh, something running. happened. He's running. I don't know what yeah, happened. Man. You got him. He's a running person. Sorry. Oh, he's out of the Yeah, I, I let her off. I, Again, the importance of using that spot lock. Ooh. This is fun, I'll tell you. What a It's a dick. It is a Phil, you sure you don't want to take the rod? No, no. Oh, oh, Phil, come on, Rest in my arm. Cool. All right, Brian. Ooh, I got it wrong. Let's gill plate that line. Try to get that line so it doesn't cut it. Got him? There you go. Nice job. <laughs> nice Loving it. Loving it. Isn't this fun? That is it awesome, is. man. I'll tell you that. Left. That is, oh, I'll hold on to that baby for sure. Now look at that. Look at the mouth on these things. I gotta get my hook out of there. I got a circle hook. That's what I'm using. Had uh, Brian had gave me a sucker to put on her. I'm surprised that's a good thing they're not like a walleye or a, any other fish where they got that gill plate real sharp because I think they would have cut that line. Seeing that circle hook's not hurting the fish at all. Look at the mouth on them. They're like a big vacuum that cleaner. Very, See that, you guys? Very you know, they just suck up everything on the bottom. And they will come up and eat things that are suspended, too. People always think they're, they're strictly a bottom eat feeder, and that's not, the, that's not the truth. You can bust some rods, though. <laughs> right? Gotta like that. These fish. Can you hold on to them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice fish. Hey, hey, Brian, I'll tell you what. What a cool awesome. way to do this. Yeah, yeah, let me get a shot. Okay, let's let this girl go then. Let's let her go. Kind of like that. There she goes. Nice. Hey, sturgeon fishing at its finest. I'll tell you, hey, Brian, thank you very much. Oh, you bet. But what a cool thing for people to come up here and to be able to enjoy the pure power of one of these fish. You know, they are so strong. And, you know, you got a little bit of current, of course, that helps them, you know, give them a little bit more torque on everything. But maybe get a shot at one more and let's go up and try some smallmouth fishing. Let's get thumb burner. Let's get thumb burner. <laughs> For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply, we want to be your outdoor supplier. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org.
Oh, Let's Brian. Oh, really? Hey, hey. Watch, watch it, Brian. Let me get this round. Yep, okay. Ready. Nice fish. Hey, I'm coming around you. Yep. Wow. I'm just going to hold them here. Yep. But you're going to get my other line now. Yep. Here, it's right. underneath it now. What line? That one right there. Okay, yeah. Hey, I'll get it. I'll get it. There you go. Now it's cleared. I'll just take it. Wow. Again. You know. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. I get him to do it again. Did you see that? Oh, my gosh. Did you see that fish come out of the water? Holy moly. Woo, 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 woo. Woo. I'm clearing lines as fast as I can clear them. Wow. Holy man. That fish came totally airborne. You know, that's, that lure lipstick, there's no doubt in my mind this works. I mean, if you're coming up here and doing some sturgeon fishing, you definitely want to pick up some of this. Going up in that trolling motor. He's way, way under the boat. That's a big fish. There he is. Oh, look at that good fish. Oh, this is a big one. It is a huge fish. He's on the other side. Ooh. He's going to come out one of these times. Your biggest one ever, Brian? Ah, like 70, mid 70 inch range. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he just slapped me right in the face. <laughs> Whoa. Exactly. Last time I've been slapped in the face like that uh, is when I said something bad and my mom got me. <laughs> Holy man, dude, that thing really whacked me. See, it did actually knock my glasses off. Or really? Flapping like that. Yeah. Oh, I can't grab onto Put my gator. Okay, got him right there? Yep. Holy moly, you guys. I'm telling you, that was a, probably a good 20 minute fight. Whoa. And the biggest thing is, again, I got him by the tail. Oh, get him on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 100 pound fish. Oh, yeah. Wow, look oh. at that. Put him in Brian's lap. Holy man, it. Brian, yep. Oh, that what is a, a blast, beast. Eh? Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. You know what? After this fish, let's pull it. Yep. This has been more than enough fun. You know, this morning was a totally different story. Yesterday we fished, uh, you know, nine, 10 hours, got one in the boat, had another one on. Today, we have, this is our third fish. We got about two hours into it. You know what? A guy can't ask for any more than that. Okay. Put him in Bry's lap. Hey, you ready? Yeah, there we go. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that, that. That is absolutely uh, what an awesome fish right there, Brian. You know, maybe she's a little over 100 pounds. Yeah, she's heavy. there's definitely some weight there. I got some uh, <laughs> some arms going to numb here. You got them? Okay, let's get this big girl back in the so water here. That side, do I got her tail? Okay. Slide her over. And yep. We'll... Let's get her back in. You got, you got her tail? I think yep. so. Wow. I'll let you grab a hold of it. Okay. Okay, she's all yours. Okay, got her. Yep, clear. <laughs> yeah! All right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hey, I'll tell you what, you guys, stay tuned. Let's see what happens on the rest of our trip up here on the Menominee River. We're going to go try a little bit of smallmouth fishing. I'll tell you what, Brian, that certainly didn't take long. Hey, Phil, I got, feels like a decent smallmouth. That's a nice small one. Boy, look how dark that fish yep. is, too. You've been here with the U of R. They're loaded in here. I have. Maybe we should catch quite a few fish. Today. Yeah, this is a great stretch of the river, too. You know, this whole Menominee River is, when it comes to smallmouth fishing, a great fishery. And Brian, you fish uh, quite a few of these different stretches. And, uh, you know, this is a pretty much a year round fishery, right? I mean, yeah. obviously not in the winter, but anytime open water, it's awesome. Well, you know me, I don't go too much farther than this. Mm -hmm. What do you got? You got one going there, huh? Going there, yeah. Oh, nicer fish. How do you know how much time to give them? I just kind of... Let's see if this one gives a little dance for it. And I want them to go away from me when I stick them. Oh, a nice fish. Decent fish. Yeah, we'll take them. Good job. This ain't no So sturdy. far, I think it's uh, pretty tied live bait versus plastics today. Yep. Hold that one up. He wasn't done yet. Ain't no giant, but still a lot of fun. Still lots of fun. 
Jeff's like, am I going crazy? I know that. Another one. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky in the land. Hey, I'll tell you what, Brian, you know what? What is the tip of the week gonna be here? You know, we're fishing in some really snaggy spots here, and you've got a good tip on how to save a lot of sinkers. Yep. Well, what I did is I was playing around with different kinds of sinkers, and this is a regular slip sinker. And what, I, what I've what i been doing is taking a piece of line and tying an overhand knot and putting a bead on it. Okay. And then put the sinker on there and then tie it on. And this has been the best way to keep from getting snagged so far this year. That, that just pulls right out of there, yeah, huh? Yeah, it slides back, and if you do get it snuck, stuck, a lot of times that beetle break, and then you get your three-way and your hook back. And that's the most important part. That's not too bad of a tip for this week. Hey, and we want to thank again our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats for making such a fine product, and remember to check out any convenience store you can find. They usually carry it. Best jerky in the world. No, nope. no, you, you, you dumped the bale to them, huh? Did you get them? Oh, yeah. Good deal. That's a better fish. Wow, definitely got a little bit of weight on this yep. one. Okay. Hey Phil, he's I might he might be taking the lead. He is a fight. Might be taking the lead. He just jumped on nice small one. It is. That's gotta be a decent sized fish right there for sure. Let me see how he's digging. Here he comes, here he comes. You gonna come up and give us a little dance? Wow, I wanna see this fish. Woo! That is a good battle. That is a cool part about smallmouth. Still haven't seen him, no. have you? You don't want to come out. Well, we don't have a net in the oh, boat, that's so nice yeah, that's a good fish right there. there. He thought he he thought he was like eight pounds, but he's actually Act well, like it. two and a half, three. Nice fish, Brian. Good, bass. nice job. Hold him up for everybody or her. And no giant again, but. Good fighter Still right there. Still a good fighter. These river smallmouth, they just can really fight. Yeah, they're, they're fight. great at that. Hey, I'll tell you what, Brian, we had just an absolutely awesome two days up here. I'll tell you, the sturgeon fishing was absolutely fantastic. You know, if people want to get a hold of you and experience some of this great sturgeon fishing and all the other things that you have going on up here on the Menominee River, how can they do it? You can give me a call on my home phone, 715-735-7346, or uh, check me out on Facebook, BAC Guide Service. Hey, the other thing is make sure everybody checks out all of our social media avenues. You know, for sure, check out our things on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter, and don't forget about us on Instagram too. And remember, like I always say, what a great day it is to be alive. How close are they to the wall? Right up to the wall. I'm pretty close. Yeah. God damn it. Ooh, I'm a little too close. <laughs> it is pretty solid. <laughs>